Okay, so uh, we got the shoulders done, we got the back straps, the neck meat done. I'm trying something different with the ribs. Uh, a friend of mine's told me about uh, cooking the ribs up just like you normally would ribs, so, uh, but I never done it before, so I didn't want to show you that on camera. So now what we're going to do is take this part of the spine off, and then we're going to take one of the hindquarters off, take it inside, and work it up. Now the spine is actually pretty easy to take off. I mean, you can use... Uh, use a chopper or you can just cut through get up in there snap the spine find your joints and just twist the whole thing off no, you need to use a chopper or a saw on that. I'm going to take these hindquarters off. At this point, what I'll do is go ahead and unhook one from the gambrel and let it lay down. Get rid of any extra hair that I missed during the skinning job. Now what we're going to do is go around the pelvis. So we'll cut this. And you're just following that pelvic bone. And you're just following that joint. There's the ligament that goes through the the hip joint. Come up here to the spine. Follow it along the side of the spine there to cut, release that part. Now as you pull, it'll separate just like the hide does, and then you're just using your knife to, to get the connective tissue and a little bit of the meat that's stuck on. And once you start getting close to the end, on a little deer like this, it doesn't really matter so much because the, the hind quarter isn't as heavy. But on a, a bigger deer or an elk, really make sure you've got a good grip on that hind quarter when you get towards the end because the, just the weight can sometimes rip it loose. So there's our hind quarter. Now we'll go ahead and take it into the kitchen and show you how to break this down into sirloins, top rounds, bottom rounds, and rump roast. Okay, so we'll start off with this chunk of meat right here, and this is the top round. It's identified by this seam that runs along here, and it comes down all the way to that portion. So we'll just take our knife, start in that seam. Once we get the seam open, ah, excuse me, we normally start off with the rump roast. So we'll start this coming out a little bit more. Okay, the rump roast is easiest to cut it from the bottom. And here we're going to take a little bit of this silver skin off. Where your joint is right there, what you're going to do is just go just off of that. Because that joint's going to come out a little bit farther and you don't want to hit that with your knife. You'll dull your edge up. Just go there and go straight across.
and that there is the rump roast. Since this part right here was clean, we'll go ahead and flip it over onto the clean board. Flip the quarter over. Now we'll get into the top round. And you're just working this seam, pulling it away using your knife just to cut the connective tissues. And then right about here, we'll just go ahead and cut straight down. Now this portion of the roast is clean because it was on the inside. So we'll put it face down on our clean board. That's your top round. The bottom round is next. To do that, what we'll do is we'll come in here, slice up around your shank, turn it over, and we're going to come in here nice and tight up against the bone. Nice flexible boning knife works best here. And that's your bottom round. Take a couple little pieces of hair off, put it on the clean board. Now the sirloin, which is the front part of the leg. What we'll do here, this is a good spot where you're going to contact bone, so I use my, my rough boning knife for this. Cut straight to the bone, follow it around on the other side, grab our flexible boning knife, Come into the bone, and you're just following that bone up around. That is a good boning knife. See how much flex it's got in it? Okay, that's your sirloin. We're going to set it right here on this corner. That's what you make sirloin steaks out of. And the last one is the shank. Cut that tendon out of the way. Now this part, if you'll remember right, when I had it hanging, this part of the meat was exposed. I'd already peeled the hide back from here so that I did, you know, I could hook onto my gambrel. So we'll go ahead and take and run our knife around that portion this will end up being waste. Now we can come up right where it attaches to the bone. And you're just cleaning that off of that bone. Come up in here and get this portion. And there's your shank. These last little bits right here, you can cut them off, throw them into the, the burger bowl. And that is a clean pine quarter. <clears throat> now we'll probably shut the camera off and the, about the only thing you're not going to see is blocking, which on a deer this size, there's not, there's not as much blocking to do like on an elk, the one I did last week. The sirloin section alone on an elk, this right here you can make, oh, half a dozen steaks out of. So if you're cooking for three people, everybody gets two steaks or, you know, you can always 
uh, use half of it that night and you know use the other half and marinate it for a couple days and have it later on in the week. Well an elk sirloin is about that long and about that tall. So on a sirloin like that you really need to do an awful lot of blocking. On this you might cut it in half so that you know you have one night and another night. But on an elk, heck, you can you, know, you can make several meals out of one sirloin. So on a deer this size, the blocking really doesn't, there's not a whole lot of it. But your sirloin is for steaks, um, tips, things like that. The shank, like I said, my favorite recipe for that is the, the slow cooker shank recipe. Your bottom round and your top round. Yeah, bottom round and top round. No, no. That's our rump roast. Roasts are for uh, slow cooking. Um, you can also use the slow cooker recipe like the shank, only don't cook it for near as long. Um, your bottom round and your top round, you can use those also for steaks, stew meat, um, uh, tips and rice, you know, things like that. So anyway, so I'll go ahead and, and clean all the, the fat and the um, silver skin and any bits of hair or anything off of these block them and wrap them and um, then pretty much all there is left to do with the deer is trim up the burger and grind it. But anyway, that's the way I work up a deer. Uh, hope you enjoy the videos.